Well, let's talk about the Dawn spacecraft for a moment. Obviously, it's still an ongoing mission. We've uh, been able to map and get a lot of good information about Vesta. Um, were there any sort of surprises that um, came up from, from the data that we received that has been released thus far that um, surprised you? Nothing remarkable so far that I've seen. Um, there's this humongous crater on the southern hemisphere. Um, and there have been hints of this from Hubble imaging, which gave very, very small blurred, very, very small fuzzy images. It's just, it's a small object and it's a long way away. Mm -hmm. uh, but hinted at some kind of irregularity. And there's long been some suspicion that uh, one particular small class of meteorites, which basically look like basalt, volcanic rock, mm -hmm. uh, had come from Vesta because the spectrum matched very nicely um, with Vesta and with a few other small asteroids in much the same orbit as Vesta, which are thought to be chips off Vesta. And yeah, that's confirmed. Um, Vesta had considerable volcanic activity when it was young. Um, and that big crater is, is the perfect source for lots of debris coming off with that, exactly that sort of material. Um, the one big disappointment a real pity, an opportunity that got missed. Um, the Dawn spacecraft had a near-death experience during development. It overran its budget. And its magnetometer got removed as part of the cutbacks to get it reinstated. Um, you know, they, they had to cut back some of the science payload and the magnetometer was the thing that in the end got the ax. Which is a pity because there's reason to suspect that Vesta is at least a little bit magnetic. Um, there's been work done on the meteorites that are thought to be bits of Vesta, and Don had no way of measuring it, wow. no magnetometer, a, a great pity. Absolutely. Um, I'm actually, if anything, more interested in what Don gets from Ceres than from Vesta. Um, that's, Ceres is, is a very peculiar asteroid. Um, it's half the mass of the entire asteroid belt. Um, it's got some very peculiar and contradictory results in its spectra. Um, there's a strong suspicion that it's got a thick layer of ice underneath a bit of surface crud. As far as the inner solar system is concerned, um, what do you think about the uh, theory that's been proposed that um, some of the inner asteroid belt might be, um, the source of it might actually be from Earth? It seems plausible. There's some very indirect evidence, and it, this is something you have to be very careful of in planetary science because there have been a number of cases where plausible guesses based on indirect evidence have turned out to be wildly wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but there's one class of meteorites which seems to be from a bunch of asteroids at the very inner edge of the asteroid belt. Uh, that are a little odd by meteorite standards. Um, some of their isotope ratios look much more like Earth and Moon ratios than the other meteorites. And so there's speculation that some of the very innermost part of the main belt may actually be stuff expelled from the inner solar system early in its formation. Um, it could be. It's, it's a plausible guess. It might be wrong at this point. Obviously more information would be needed. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's an awful lot of guesswork in this stuff and an awful lot of things where we could really do with more information. Even, even quick flybys of a bunch more asteroids would help us to understand their diversity and help us classify them a bit better. Um, close looks would help even more. Um, even with relatively small spacecraft with very limited instruments, uh, you could get a lot uh, by putting a bunch of small orbiters around a, about a, a, a good selection of asteroids.